Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. Today's project, actually this week's project, is this 10 by 20 canopy. Now the initial is going to show you all the things that I needed including changing from 6 foot legs on this canopy to 10 foot legs by using chain link top rail as the legs. Now the beauty of it the outside diameter on this is the same size as the pipes that came in this 10 by 20 canopy that I purchased at Harbor Freight. Alrighty then, first thing I'm going to do is pre-assemble these long sections and those directions are pretty self-explanatory with the numbers lining up and whatnot. The thing that was off about this kit is the gabled end, they were just saying it was a number three pipe. Because I did not know uh, what the other pipe was to give it that 10 foot span, you'll see here where I go to assemble the gable end. I start out putting the number three pipe in there and then say, all right, what do I have left over? <laughs> And then I added in, I think it was a number two, if I remember correctly. It worked out great. And you'll see here, you know, I assembled it how they were shown in the book or in the directions. But that is just way too small of a gable span. So here I disassembled. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. I want the holes to line up to where it makes it easy because I'm... Later, we'll put in self-tapping sheet metal screws to hold all this together. But here you'll see I go ahead and assemble it and then give it a quick measure. And now I have my span that I need to give my 10 foot width by my 20 foot length. It was so hot this day. It was 95 or 97. Heat index said it was 110. I started out early in the morning getting everything out to where I was going to put this canopy up because I'm going to park my RV out by the northwest corner of the property so I can actually run the air conditioning in it for us to cool off during the middle of the day. Also for the pups, you know, they get into water and shade and whatnot. But the solar system's not big enough and the battery bank is not big enough to actually run the um, air conditioning on the RV. So we're moving that all the way out by the power pedestal that I have set up. When company comes, they can plug in and be comfortable. So this is kind of the final assembly of the gables. Now, all of those long rails that I was talking about pre-assembling, um, I'm going to go ahead and get those installed next. I'm just laying this canopy over the top. Prior to putting any screws in it, I'm going to actually uh, dry fit the canopy on to make sure that the setup that I have on this gable assembly is correct. And you'd be amazed at how long it takes to do this little bit of nothing with one person. Because you do your pre-assembly of all your pipes. Then, of course, the dry fit with the canopy. By the time you finish that up, it's the hottest time of the day, which, again, 110 is what they're saying the heat index felt like. It felt like it was even hotter than that. The puppies were having a blast playing in the mud puddles and stuff around there, but when they go and get in the Jeep because they're wanting me to turn the air on, <laughs> you know that it's hot. That right there is Bastion, my son's dog. And you know, it's just slow and steady. Put this thing together, make sure everything lines up well. The other thing that I made a point of is no screws in the top where the canopy would actually um, touch it. That way when the wind is blowing, those screw heads won't end up rubbing a hole in the canopy, theoretically. 
The other thing is make sure you take a hammer out there with you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tape measure is not a hammer. But as you can see, I'm, I'm winding down on this portion of this assembly. It actually was kind of good that I did this to spread out this canopy, let the canopy relax. That way in the next uh, video, the second, this will be part one and part two of this, it'll make it much easier to just lay over the top of the canopy and get things fastened down with the little bungee cords. This was purchased off of Harbor Freight. The tie downs were purchased off of Amazon and the top rails were purchased from the big box store. Now all I'm doing here is tying a little knot. I can put it over each corner because of the heat we're getting ready to head back into my son's house in Orlando and yeah it is so hot and this is the beautiful bloom that I have going on for butterflies and my bees the pollen and the nectar flow is absolutely awesome right now alrighty then y'all have an absolutely wonderful and blessed day